Hi guys, it's Johnny from Edwards Estate Agents here, uh, here today to show you our fantastic executive four bed detached property for sale in Mion Vale. Um, just before we go into the property, uh, you can see it from the outside, I just want to show you uh, which in our opinion is a massive feature of note in this one is the uh, the discrete plot this property actually enjoys. It's just on the fringe of the development. Um, so it's really safe, secure if you've got young kids. Um, you can see here this um, sort of a nice sort of wooded area, um, sort of away from the main road as well. Okay, uh, this is actually maintained by the local authority, so you haven't got to worry yourselves about mowing that one on a Sunday morning. And it's ideal for a, a kick around if you've got a couple of young kids. Okay, I'll show you inside. All right, so to begin, um, there's a nice sort of light hallway, uh, quality wood effect floors. Um, I'll show you the spacious ground floor before we proceed upstairs. Um, this house was built by Charles Church around 18 months ago. Uh, Charles Church, historically very well known for its quality spec. Uh, this is one of the larger house types on the development as well, so it's, it's a great purchase for a, uh, a budding family. All right, here we are then. So um, this is obviously the sitting room, uh, lovely dual aspect, um, easy access out to the rear garden, which actually I will show you later is is relatively private actually, and a, and a decent plot um, than than you generally sort of expect on a, a new build development. Um, you've got a, a gas living flame effect fire there. Uh, for those of you who don't know the area, um, Meon Vale is very lucky actually because it's it's one of the few places within. Uh, the immediate vicinity that actually has mains gas. Uh, a lot of the villages on the outskirts have to obviously have oil or um, sort of color canisters, so um, this has got all sort of mod cons. Nice feature bow there to the front. And as I say, the, the main benefit with this one is it's right on the edge of the development, uh, surrounded by similar sort of executive detached family properties. Okay, through then to the um, I guess it would have been purpose built as a family dining room. Obviously you can see here the vendors are very busy and tend to spend a lot of, the, a lot of their time sort of working from home. Uh, but again, it would be a, a lovely uh, place to enjoy a meal from. Uh, again, you've got a uh, dual aspect on this one, so you've got views out to that nice green area that we've just had a look at. Um, obviously it's summer at the moment, so the trees are in full bloom. Um, but obviously in the winter months when the, the foliage isn't as, uh, as dense, um, Sort of just over the road there is the picturesque Mion Hills, um, which uh, which are just beautiful actually, um, absolutely beautiful. They sort of go on and on, uh, and they um, adjoin Lower Quinton and the villages of Upper Quinton, and ultimately Mickleton, which is a gateway to the Cotswolds. All right, through then into a really fantastic, stylish kitchen family room. Uh, really generous actually. Uh, you can see there's plenty of room for a, a breakfast table or a, a dining table. Uh, absolutely heaps of storage and cupboard space. Again, you've got the sink there. Uh, it's a nice place, or nice views rather, to wash up to over that little green to the side that we've uh, we've previously seen. Um, really flexible this room actually. So um, obviously, if you wanted to use these, what they currently use as the study as a formal dining room. You could actually have this as sort of a, a family snug. Um, there's TV points over there as well, so you could have sort of wall-mounted telly, PlayStation, uh, a couple of sofas, uh, whatever you wish. Um, more storage there. Um, in terms of appliances, it's uh, usual, so built-in fridge freezer, uh, dishwasher, and then there's a separate utility for the usual sort of white good appliances. And then you can uh, easy access again off this room, uh, double doors out to the gardens, which I, again I'll show you just shortly. Uh, through then into a utility, uh, sort of standard stuff, but always good to have. Uh, you've got a wine cooler there, space for your, your washing machine, and further access out then to the uh, to the gardens. So again, particular feature of note this one, 
people tend to live in kitchens these days it's the real kind of hub of the house so it's, it's uh, nice to see this is a, a good size for a, for a large family okay back then through to the um, hallway um, you've got a door to a little cloakroom there which again it's always good to have quality sanitary wear in all Charles Church builds and then you've got a bit of storage there for usual stuff shoes, hoovers, bags, bits and pieces Shove it all out of the way then. Alright, so I'll talk you through upstairs. Um, all of the bedrooms on, or rather in this particular house, are, are good doubles actually, so there's no small sort of boxy room at all. Um, so to begin, we've got the um, kind of guest suite. Obviously, that's, this is their sort of teenage son's room. Uh, it's a lot tidier than mine when I used to be a teenager. Um, this one also enjoys ensuite facilities. Um, so you have a, a shower, a uh, heated towel rail, obviously WC in a basin. Uh, again, all really nice sort of quality sanitary wear put into the Charles Church builds. And then you've got some fitted wardrobes in there as well, which is always useful to have. Okay, uh, another good double. And good if you've got the in-laws over, you'd be very popular if you buy this one. Uh, obviously you're literally a couple of miles from the Cotswolds and obviously you've got beautiful Stratford upon Avon uh, within about five miles from here as well. Um, in terms of amenities, me on Vale's really generous actually so you've got a, a large um, sort of supermarket actually put on the site here as well. Uh, there's also a gym and a sort of community centre. Um, you've got Lower Quinton which is uh, literally a mile up the road that's got decent takeaway pub and uh, additional shopping facilities and also a really good school. Uh, principal bathroom here, so again nice sort of stylish floor and wall tiles. Um, I should have just mentioned actually this is four piece, so obviously you've got the bath um, as well as a shower. Across the landing then into uh, their daughter's room which um, again very tidy. Um, lovely light dual aspect room even on quite a dull day actually. Um, and again, this room enjoys uh, lovely views over that sort of green that we looked at earlier. Again, in terms of position, you don't feel like you're on a large sort of uh, built-up housing estate on this one. You do feel like you've got all the modern comforts of a modern house, but uh, you do feel like you're in the countryside a little bit. Okay, master suite. Again, really good size, this one. Large bed, plus there's still heaps of... Uh, room for shelving and wardrobes and bits and pieces uh, and again this one enjoys those lovely views uh, to the side so you can kind of keep an eye on the kids having a uh, knock around on a Sunday morning uh, his and hers sort of double built in wardrobes which again is always useful very lucky I, I'm allowed about one drawer at home so uh, you've got heaps of storage on this one um, again, nice modern white ensuite uh, with a heated towel rail as well. So obviously this one being kind of 18 months old, it's uh, it's as new really, so there's literally nothing to do. All the carpets obviously are fairly new as well, so uh, you could literally move straight into this one. A nice sort of view down to the to the hall there. Um, I'll show you the garden, which again. In my opinion, it's uh, it's a decent size, it's nice and safe, nice and secure. Uh, it is walled as well, so uh, again, you've kind of got that additional privacy in part. Okay, so quite a wide plot this one. So obviously, you've got the patio seating area there, ideal for a glass of wine and a barbecue if the summer ever decides to show up. And then you've got that nice sort of walled curve there as well, just to kind of really maximise that privacy. In terms of the plot, um, the house would uh, take a conservatory, I feel. It uh, still wouldn't eat up too much into the rear garden if you felt you needed that extra bit of space. And actually quite a handsome house from the rear as well. And then a big bonus with this one is you've got a detached double garage. Plenty of room at the front via that double drive for 
uh, about two to three cars really. Um, so that's it, it's a great value purchase and a really popular area. Um, so if you like what you see and you'd like to receive further details or indeed to arrange a viewing, please contact Edwards Estate Agents 01789 414 222. Many thanks.